Hello everybody, I'm back, welcome back to Escape Slam, I'm so happy to be here today, coming to you live from my home, my doggy underneath my chair, I know you can't see too much but I'm sitting at my desk here, having a nice refreshing smoothie after a long but beautiful, amazing day. So, as you can see, I'm wearing the shirt says Wi-Fi, or says Wi-Fi, whatever you want to interpret it as, but in this case, we're going to say Wi-Fi. I was having some problems with the Wi-Fi, and now I have it back, and I'm like, okay, now I get to come back to my escapees and fill you guys in on what's been going on in my world, so um, I'm really excited. I I'm on my second week now of my yoga teacher training, and it's going really, really, really good. Um, I definitely feel like I'm at home and I'm in the right place, and every day is a new experience, every day is a new challenge, and I learn something new, and it's really exciting because that's what life's about, just learning and challenging yourself and it's just a lot of fun so um as of tomorrow we have our first quiz and it's going to be on like the eight limbs which are just um basically the rules of yoga before you get onto your mat and patalini i'm not really sure how to pronounce his name just yet but he has these uh certain rules you have to abide by and embody before you can start practicing yoga. And what's interesting in my personal experience is that a lot of the stuff that I'm learning in school is what I was kind of going through for the past two years when I was on this personal development journey and healing myself. So a lot of the stuff, you know, has different names in Sanskrit and, um, you know, Hinduism and all that, but uh, it basically is all the same things like loving yourself and living in the here and in the now, um, not stealing, and just a bunch of different things that we have to embody before we can do our practice. I mean, of course, you can get on your yoga mat and do everything, but to have the full yoga experience and healing, you must, you know, practice those things so that you can be in samadhi, which is bliss. I hope I'm right about that because I haven't quite sat down and studied my notes yet, but we did go over it in class today, so cheers to you guys. Cheers for tuning into this video. Um, I have another video that I recorded like on my first day of school or my second day of school. Actually, it was my first day of school, and um, my video editor, he <laughs> has been busy. And because that video is in little pieces here and there, I wanted him to put it all together for me. So I will be getting that to you guys soon, so you guys can check out my first day experience. And I had an awesome experience the first day, like, I don't want to spoil anything, so you're going to have to check out the next video to see what happened the first day, but, I mean, it's really been, like, just so cool, you know, like, I mean, I really had sort of an idea of what I am getting myself into but of course you know the experience is totally different once you're fully in it and it's really exciting now because we're actually like you know getting to know our yogis like our classmates and we're being able to express ourselves and teach each other and do certain exercises like meditation and today we focused on a candle light and we just, you know, stared at it. And it's crazy, like, it was really, really hard at first because I've never done that before and I've never just stared at something and just tuned everything else out. So these are certain things that are good for us, you know, especially in this day and age when we're surrounded by distractions, our phone, and it was actually nice. Like, as much as I missed you guys, like, it was really nice and liberating 
to just accept not having, you know, my phone and not having the internet and just everything that's constantly like here all the time. And just now, you know, getting it back, I've already spent, you know, a few hours just trying to catch up and writing everybody back and it's freaking time consuming. Not to mention things that you have to do in your real life, like keep up with your household and manage your kids and, you know, your job or your school. And, you know, it's just like, you really got to find out what's important. And I feel like the most important thing is ourselves. Because, you know, without taking care of yourself, there is no life, you know, without... You know, I'm coming to find the pranayama, (laughs) your breath. There's no life, you know. So really just being grateful that you have your breath. And anytime you feel nervous, anytime you feel overwhelmed, just come to this place. YouTube, okay? This is what this is. This background music is from YouTube. Put it on. Zone out. Sit up straight. Cross your legs or sit on the couch, whatever makes you comfortable. And that's another thing I love is that there's really no right or wrong to yoga. Of course, in the asanas, the postures, you have to do them a certain way so you don't injure yourself or hurt yourself. But I like that there's no judgment. There's no obligation and you know, to be a certain way. It's all about being yourself. And that's what my teacher has said today, like, be yourself, okay? Like when we are teaching our classmate, you know, pretending they're our client or whatever. I love that because I love being myself and that's all I want to freaking be. I don't want to be nobody else. I don't want to try to be, you know, this person or try to be this title. Like, I just want to be Sheena. I just want to be a skip slim. Like, so I really hope that you guys